Mire. Oh. Ya se movió. What? Hello. Está caminando, de hecho, hasta que no. Hell no, I'm not doing this. I'm done. This is too creepy for me, man. Oh shit, I'm recording this for you. I have to continue. Oh no mind. Hello friends and welcome to Ghostwatch. Now, legend has it that you guys will all be haunted by all the ghosts in this video. If you do not, hit that like and subscribe button. Don't blame me, I'm just a messenger here. But without further ado, let's check out this ghost compilation video by King Frostmere. Hello guys, time for scary videos that you can simply not watch alone. The following video was recorded by a driver. I can't watch this, I'm alone. Why can't I watch this if I'm alone? God damn it. I watch it anyways. I'm with you guys, right? You're with me. Who was taking a narrow road in the mountains at the time. He was on his way to an old village, which was situated at the end of the mountain. There's a lot of eerie stories about ghostly passengers that can be seen walking on this old road. And even the driver states that he saw some strange things on this road. The passenger of the vehicle was documenting the nightly drive and, as it happens, captured something odd on the side of the road. What? Did you did you see it? Faceless ball. Look how tall that thing is. Isn't it tall? Or is it just me? And it has no face. And a scary ass red dress. Old and very tall figure can be seen walking on the road. This thing is wearing a long red dress, which makes this recording even more creepy. That's what I said. Well, why is this? creepy person walking out in the middle of nowhere by itself in the middle of the night must be paranormal right do you agree or is it they I don't have know. no idea if this was just a regular Maybe person just some who was walking in pitch darkness on the road or if this was something else quite mysterious wouldn't you say I would say so, yeah. Holy crap. In our home. Now to another eerie encounter, which was shared by Father Manny, who states that his little daughter was behaving a bit strange this night. He had the feeling that she was seeing something in the dark corners of their house. A pretty freaky experience, and the reason why he started recording who are you pointing at? Who is he? How can we keep pointing? Where's he at? Is he over there? Who is he? My niece keeps pointing at someone right here in this little hallway. I'm not really sure who it is, but yeah, she's like point upwards. They must be tall or something. Look, she's pointing again, look. What are you pointing at? You gotta at? get out of There's here, man. There's no one there. You gotta leave, man. 
Honestly, you're not welcomed here. Leave. Wherever leave. you are, leave. You're scaring my niece. Look, she keeps pointing at you. Get thy butt out of my house. Out of here, man. Yeah, she said something, though. Like, it's crazy because, like... Whatever she see? I'm my niece and nephew. My nephew's right here. Then it's her, and then she keeps pointing at some. Hello? What is that? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, man. And then she grabbed this lantern right here. And I'm like, what the f Some viewers are certain that you can see a shadowy figure in the dark hallway. I don't. Which most likely was responsible for the throwing of the object. Could this be a possibility? Whatever the answer, maybe many starters saw something this night in their house. Which makes this whole encounter- I, I don't see nothing. There's nothing there. Uh, is this a ghost video? Owner are extremely creepy. Hey guys, please make sure to check out the new Frostmare Summer Merch, offering you some skulltastic designs that will get you through the summertime. Your support means a lot and it will directly go towards the channel. Please see the card in the video corner or check the merchandise shelf below. The passenger. Now to a recording that a bus driver had shared. He was on uh, the road one early morning. Oh no. Not a bus. In real life, I'm a bus driver. I'm not sure I want to see this one. Shortly before starting his shift, Claudio, the driver, states that he noticed the bus bell ringing, indicating entering passengers, which should have been impossible as he wasn't picking up passengers yet. When looking into the rear mirror, he noticed... I've had that happen to me before, being a bus driver. We have some new electrical buses and sometimes they are acting up very strange I once had a bus that I was driving this bus weirdly enough and it just kept ringing you know someone like someone's pushing the stop button but there's no one in the bus and I pushed a button that like uh, cancels the stop two seconds after I press the button ding, it rings again I press the cancel button ding, it rings again ding, all the time I went through the bus tried to press all the stop buttons none of them were stuck and I then started driving again ding it just kept ringing. I had to go to the garage and change bus. Because <laughs> every time when I picked up passengers, I had to stop at every stop. Because who knows if uh, if someone was to get off. But yeah. Let's continue. Sorry for rambling. I noticed a strange sight. Oh, Lena. <laughs> Oh, is there a shadow here? Like a shadowy person? Pero miro para atrás y no hay nadie. Yeah. Excuse me. There is a shadow. It's a shadow creep. Eh? La concha de tu No sea malo. That's cool, no sea though. malo, no sea mala. No sé, pero. No puede, no puede, no puede. 
I would shit myself. What is most scary about this video is that he is holding his phone and looking in his phone while driving. That ain't smart. Don't do that. Yo veo como alguien, pero del espejo no veo a nadie. There seems to be a black shadow sitting in one of the yep, seats I saw of the back row. As mentioned before, Claudio was alone at the time and had not picked up any passengers yet, which makes oh. him believe that perhaps it had been a passenger from the afterlife visiting him that morning How and taking a ride with him. What a creepy thought. Yeah. Creepy as F, man. The following was captured and shared by a guard who believes that this particular night he captured something mysterious that was peeking out of an office building that he was patrolling this night and he was making contact to his co-workers to tell them that something doesn't seem quite right. Alright, can, can you see this thing? Yeah, it's still there. Okay. What's happening with the lights? Because I'm, dude, I'm looking the, 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 the lights are, the hallway and the, I can't see, like... I literally see nothing. The lights are off right now. Oh, it just moved. It oh. just moved. It just moved. It just moved. Well, couldn't that just be a person in there? Dude, it just moved. A shadow can be seen on the fourth floor window before it suddenly disappears out of sight. Could be a person. And also here. Now there's light here. There's out of sight. There's no light here. This is a uh, sketchy. <laughs> it's quite intriguing how it just seems to vanish into thin air, leaving little room for speculation that this could have been a human intruder, at least in the guard's opinion. Could be someone working late. But what do you believe? Was it a ghostly entity that no. was visiting here? No, I don't think so. That's easily explainable. Now we want to take a look at a video which was captured by security of the police station in Carabobo, Venezuela. The Carabobo. officers state that in the last few nights a mysterious person has been seen strolling around the station's parking lot. Of course this is impossible since nobody would have access except authorized personnel. Tonight it seems like this mysterious person popped up again. What is that? It's like a mist. It's like a mist moving there. Hmm? No, What's strange is that the security guard who's checking after this weird thing doesn't see anything out of the ordinary that night, which makes many believe that something oh. paranormal had unfolded here. How else can we explain this? That is definitely not something, you know, on the lens of the camera or something. You can see it, it is, it is in the distance. Phenomenon. Pretty strange. Pretty strange indeed, I would say. 
This video comes from an ambulance driver. He reported having to pull over immediately due to a puzzling event. As he was returning to the station, he saw something unusual in the back of the ambulance. Realizing what it was, he stopped the vehicle and jumped out. And here's what he shared afterwards. Alright, so I'm not sure how to um how to talk about this, but well, first of all, I've been an EMT just for a little bit, and like I ain't never experienced nothing like this. So, so as we driving back to base, I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. Like, for I need to turn this engine off though, cause like. We're gonna be stranded out here. Yeah, yeah. Seems possible. <sighs> I'm not trying to go back on this trip. Imagine how many people died in that ambulance. Could easily be one of their spirits, right? I ran the F out. That's probably what I would have done as well. We heard a rumbling in the back. No, no, hey, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if you see it, but can can y'all see that back door? Like it, just, oh, sh like it just flew open. Like holy moly! No, nah, what the? F what the hell was that? What was that? Can y'all see it? No, oh, hell no! Oh hell, hell no! no. Though we don't see the face the EMT mentioned, we do see a shadowy figure moving around. It appears to dart from side to side, as if trapped. The EMT driver believes this what? entity may have been responsible for the cabinet door swinging open, Holy which caused the loud thump heard man. inside. However, the mysterious face he saw earlier remains unexplained. Some think this could be the spirit of someone who died in the ambulance, yeah, while definitely. others are unsure whether it was a ghost or something else. Oh, that's creepy as F, man. This was captured by another security officer who was told by an employee that they heard really loud and strange noises stemming from the dressing area of this old and at the time abandoned soccer stadium. So the guard went checking and saw something he could not really explain. Hello? What the hell is going on? What? Concha de la lora. 
There's no one in there. What? How the hell is that possible? Oh, I see you, Shadow Creep. What? Get the hell out of there. That's what I would have done. Leave. I quit my job. Never come back. The guards didn't even notice that this shadow being seemed to be with him at the time, which makes all of this just so much more creepy. Many say that this shadow being could have been responsible for all of this. Yeah, Is who else? this plausible? Holy crap. And they say the shadow, shadow persons, or I like to call them shadow creeps, they are really malevolent spirits. They are up to no good. Antique doll. Steph has shared uh, her... I hate dolls. On my uh, horror gaming channel, I play, I'm right now playing a game called Alicia's Dollhouse. And it is creepy as F. So I'm not happy about this video. So if you want to check out my horror gaming channel, Go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. ...story about experiencing strange and paranormal events in our home in Mexico over the past decade. After buying an old second-hand doll, she began hearing unexplained cries of a child throughout her house. Unable to endure it any longer, she got rid of the doll, but the eerie presence continued. One evening, Steph was terrified by chilling noises coming from her bedroom closet. What happened next left her deeply shaken. Espera, espera, ve, se está abriendo. What? Holy crap! Ya viste. Did you see that hand? No. Dart over there, look behind if anyone's there. Ya decidió hacerse presente el amigo. Y de día. Ay, no. Miren, 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 miren. miren. What the hell? If she doesn't look in the closet without cutting in the video, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Oh, no. oh she's going. There's no one in there. There's no one there. What the hell? I can't be right. Para que no digan que está en la ropa. There's no one behind the clothes as well. What? ¿Dónde? A small childlike hand slowly pushed the what? closet door open. Skeptical viewers of Steph's TikTok videos think someone might be hiding in her closet, but Steph shows it's empty. She that must definitely be proof of the paranormal, right? How can you explain that? Do you have a good explanation? Please, please indulge me in the comment section. God damn hell. Shit if. She believes the haunting presence in her home may appear as a child, but could be a malevolent entity in disguise. Oh. Is this real or a cleverly crafted hoax? I, I would move out Please of Please share here. your thoughts in the comments. And I didn't see a cut in the video when she went over there to see what's behind. Now to an eerie recording which was shared by a guard who was working the night shift alone in a local mall. The mall had several strange incidents unfold during the past 50 years. Ever since its first opening, things can be heard and seen that lack any form of explanation. 
and the guard started recording once some of these mysterious happenings unfolded right in front of him. Buenas noches, la plaza ya se cerró. ¿Hay alguien aquí? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, ya se from cerró Buenos la plaza, Aires. Joven. Buenas noches. Is that, is that whispering? Listen. Is that sound whispering? What? What? Hell no. Buenas noches, ya se cerró. Why would that child be in there in the middle of the night? Hay algún niño aquí? After closing time. Buenas noches. I keep hearing that creepy whispering. What? Is it possible that a child got lost in this? Do you really want this child ghost or or the former one in that closet as well haunt you at night? If not, leave a like and subscribe. You know, you better do it. I I, I will do it. You know, I can't I can't like and subscribe to my own channel, but you can. Save yourself. Consider yourself warned old mall just before closing very unlikely thinks the guard and in his opinion it's more likely that this was a spirit that tried to get his attention he hasn't heard these mysterious sounds ever since spooky spooky definitely spooky The following officer is working night shift in an old hospital and is pretty certain that the ghosts of former patients are roaming the hallways, since ever so often, things are moving around, even when nobody seems to be close to them. See, see, I. No, 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 and it would appear that something rather eerie unfolded this night. Do you hear that whispering growl? Put on headphones if you don't. Holy air fryer. God, no. This is what I'm talking about, dude. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm out of here. This is what I'm talking about. I'm here in this building by myself, bro. By myself. Was it perhaps a ghost that is still roaming this old armory, or just a little breeze? Based on the officer's account, That's the not doors a breeze. are heavy and can't just be pushed open like that. That was not breeze. So we can only speculate in the end if this was a ghostly encounter or something more explainable. I 
I quit my job. Right then and there. In the following no video, doubt. three friends are home alone when one of them decides to call their mom after a frightening incident. In about 10 minutes, so we need you to stay calm though, okay? Okay, alright. So calm, quiet, keep the door locked. Right, do not go out of the room whatsoever. The three friends are locked in a room for safety. Earlier, they heard a loud crash from downstairs and strange noises coming from all over the house. Thinking someone had broken in, they called the police. Glass, was it metal? Was they called the police. This must be legit. Because if you call the police just for fun, you get a heavy ass fine. Or get imprisoned, you know. So this, this is, this is legit, man. What is it? Um, and it was just like a, a big thud, and then like, you heard box out. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of neat. However, after a thorough search, the police found no signs of forced entry or any clues suggesting a break-in. With no evidence of intruders, the police left. Later, when the friends watched the footage, they noticed something disturbing. Then what was the crash? They must have noticed, you know, some broken stuff, yeah? Disturbing. Before the police arrived, they had decided to investigate the noises themselves. Okay, it's fine. Okay. 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 Alright, I'll see you soon. I love you. Uh, I love you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> what did that say? Insert 15 minutes later card from spongebob we left the room to investigate the sounds yes we know bad idea but we didn't hear any more noises so we checked Hello? Why are we running? <laughs> what did I see? I didn't One see anything. One friend saw something moving in the dark, although it wasn't visible on camera. But they later noticed something else they hadn't seen before. What? mysterious object swiftly moving behind the railing without making a sound. The friends now I don't believe see it. they might have captured a ghost on camera. Oh. The friends Holy crap. Have a look, it's a face. Now believe they might have captured a ghost on camera. What? The hell? Describing it as a floating head passing by. Yeah. What? What a sinister encounter. Let's see if there's any updates on this case. Holy air fryer, man. The following security Burn guard the states Call that a other staff has been seeing strange shadow sightings in this grocery store for quite some time now. And that nobody could ever really explain this phenomenon. It happens so frequently that staff are already joking about the shopping shadows they see. And tonight, the guard seems to have captured the activity on camera. Y ahorita vi algo allá 
en entrada de clientes hasta allá hasta el último y lo vi clarito clarito Clarito. Ya lo vi otra vez. A ver, si el, a ver si se alcanza a ver. No, me da miedo ir. A eso, eso que se mira ahí. Ese. ¿Es este thing here? Mire. Oh. Ya se movió. What? Yeah. Hello. Está caminando, de hecho, hasta que no. Hell no, I'm not doing this. I'm done. This is too creepy for me, man. Oh shit, I'm recording this for you. I have to continue. Oh no mind. I don't want there to. Clearly is a dark silhouette walking in the aisle in the background. And this moonwalking look another staff it's member moonwalking. or customer. <laughs> do we have to believe that this one is one of these shadows that the man was telling us about in the beginning? How oh, eerie. How eerie. That's creepy as if, man. Right? Leave my store, please. Or supermarket. This was captured by a man who was documenting his reptiles and his tarantulas. And whilst doing so, he captured something quite strange that he couldn't explain. Close up much? <laughs> what? And why are you zooming in so much? We can't see your uh, tarantula, you know? I didn't. A weird eye. What? A weird eyeball was captured here, and it didn't know how this was possible, if this was something otherworldly, or just a weird glitch. It's really hard to say. What is your explanation? I don't know. Glitch. It again. It's really hard to say. What is your explanation? Or just a weird... Oh, how this was possible. Have a look at that eyeball! A weird eyeball was captured here, and it didn't know how this was possible, if this was something otherworldly. What? Or just a weird glitch. It's, it's a really big hard ass to say. Eyeball, what man. is your explanation? This video was uploaded by Chubby Gooby, who states that she moved into a new residence with her husband and their cats. They noticed some really strange things going on, and this is when Chubby started a video uh, diary. I'm not really sure what to do about this. Um, just watch and let me know what you think at the end. My cat never comes up to me like this unless she wants food. So that might have been what it was, but she was acting particularly weird. Even her cats started to act pretty weird. At least that is how she explains it. Our cat just walked away from me and I felt like she knew it was coming. The cat is looking at something, yeah? What? Hello? The camera falls as well. Hello? It slowly started to escalate when more noticeable activity unfolded in their home. Another night, they got woken up by loud noises from the basement. We don't have any explanation for it. 
You need to explain that? Explain I'm tired. Yeah, exactly. This is the 15th freaking night in a row. Something happened. I think you're exaggerating. Look, it's a basement. He believes, yeah? Okay, we need to go. 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 Go where? Go upstairs. Go upstairs. <laughs> go where? Jeez, oh, go, go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Hell oh, no. The true belief that... I can't keep watching this video. They are... They are... They are all so good. And creepy. Woo! Something evil is lingering in their home. I was fully asleep at this point and I was trying to wake up. I was trying to wake up? What? Would you sleep in there after seeing this? I would move out of this house instantly. I would live with my mom until I found something else. Holy crap, man. We were both half asleep at this point and I don't really remember what happened exactly. I just heard a sound. It wasn't until we watched the video. And if all of this hasn't been staged, maybe they are right. All of those videos were so good, man. Holy ass toaster. How the F? Wow. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye bye. I'm going to change my pants.